What's up everybody, welcome to my review for Shadow Warrior on the PlayStation 4. Now this isn't a proper review of the game, this is just um, mostly my thoughts, but if I were to give this a score, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Um, but first I want to go over some of the pros and cons um, about this game. So uh, let's cover the pros. I won't be showing any gameplay, but I will show you some of the concept art here, just so you have something to look at. Um, so yeah, the pros. For me, one great pro is the combat. The combat is really good. As you can see, the, your main source, so your first weapon is, or your primary weapon, is the sword. Uh, and you will get other weapons throughout the game, but the combat is, for the most part, fairly fluent, um, very exciting, very fun to play through, um, and you do have a variety of weapons to choose from um, overall in the game. Um, they really enhance the combat experience and every every time when you finish a combat sequence you are ranked either if you do very well you get five stars out of five if you, if you do poorly you get one out of five stars but you know that just enforces you to try to experiment with different weapons and try to you know encounter these enemies in creative ways to try to get a good rank um, but yeah the combat's very good um, the, the graphics are a bit of a hit and miss, but I think for the most part the graphics are really good, especially the environmental graphics, like, um, um, especially the environmental graphics, like, um, 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 like the, ch like trees blowing in the wind or, you know, particle effects and other things environmentally, like water and everything else, it all looks really good, and, um, and, um, you know, character models don't look that great. Um, they look kind of, you know, I guess, um, like a rag. They have like a ragdoll effect, pretty much. Especially your main character, um, Wang. But, um, but, but environmentally, the graphics are good. But I can't say the same for the, for the, for the actual characters themselves. But it's, it looks good for the most part. Um, Oh yeah, there's good. Another pro is variety. There, like I said, there's a lot of weapon variety. You mostly have um, guns, um, um, like a machine gun and a handgun, but you get much more advanced and um, more um, dangerous weapons as you progress through the game. So yeah, there's good weapon variety. There's good enemy types. Like you can see here, there's um, different types of enemies um, with different kinds of functions and abilities. Um, there's variety uh, a variety of environments so in terms of the graphics like you'll be at a more naturalistic um, sort of ch um, Chinatown area and then you could be on the more snowy area then you could be at a more underground um, corridor areas you know so the there's good uh, variety in, in the environment and the setting as well um, so yeah um, there's good replayability as well um, the game lasted me about six hours. Um, here I'll show you. The game lasted me about no, not six hours, eleven hours and thirty-two minutes. Well, that's pretty a good amount of um, length for a game like this. Um, and even when you beat the game, there's still stuff to collect. There's still like you can see here. There's challenges. I have thirty-two out of fifty-three challenges. Um, I have unlocked forty-three out of one hundred and six secrets. So there's still plenty of stuff to find and do after you finish the game. If you weren't able to get them the first time around, you could get them at your um, second playthrough. Um, so there is replay value, and there's even a survival mode. I haven't looked into it much, but there is another game mode which you can play after the fact. Um, Another thing is the pacing, you know, for the most part it's well paced, it doesn't feel like it goes on too fast or um, it goes by too quickly or anything, anything like that, uh, nor are the battles repetitive or anything like that, um, you know, it, it feels like nicely paced, like you go through a battle and then you have a moment to breathe where, and that moment to breathe gives you time to explore, find collectibles and resources to help you, um, um, continue your battles um, um, so yeah it's very well paced and another, one last pro is the story the story is not at all phenomenal but it's not bad for what it does um, it starts off pretty silly but um, and kind of um, comical 
but it does get pretty serious the more you progress through the game and you start finding out more things about the story i mean it really does become pretty deep i guess but like i said it doesn't become like extremely phenomenal where you would call this where you would say oh my god this is almost as good as the last of us or something like that but it stays interesting enough to keep the player engaged um with the story and the characters in the story so yeah it's it's not great but it's good enough so yeah let's switch over to the cons of the game um like even though i said the game's well paced i do feel like the game overall drags on for too long like it feels like some chapters just there's too much going like some of the chapters just drag on for too long and um sometimes it feels like especially towards the end of the game when it felt like I was nearly done with it. it like it just happened to be like oh no there's more stuff to do and more enemies to battle and um it's it did feel like it did kind of drag on for for longer than it should have um and you know there's a total of 17 chapters in the game but um you know that i guess that's a pretty good amount of content for a game like this but for me personally i felt like it dragged on for too long for its own good um, another con is some technical issues. Um, I didn't experience some screen tearing, specifically when I used the machine gun. There was moments where I would be battling enemies, and I would um, um, use my machine gun, and like the screen would, you know, jitter around, and like it just it, it just looked kind of jittery. And um, you know, this only happened a few times. It didn't happen too commonly. It actually, only happened a couple of points in the game, but it did happen. It did kind of. Um, you know kind of mess things up with the game um and more technical difficulties i did encounter some glitches in the game um um there was one glitch where i was using the sword and um the sword just happened to disappear and um it didn't happen where i went through a cutscene and the sword came back but that happened and there was another glitch at the very end of the game where i was supposed to do something but for some reason the prompt wasn't available for me to do it so um, I had to um, um, reset the game in order to, um, um, to do what I had to do or ha do what the game was supposed to do oh yeah so yeah there was just a couple of glitches and a couple of you know graphical issues um, or um, um, frame rate issues um, um, and I guess one last thing is that the action does get really overwhelming especially towards the end now that's the case with a lot of games where you know towards the end of the game you are you go through large battles of enemies or whatever um but there are moments in the game where like i said it drags on for too long like oh here's one wave of enemies oh here's a second wave of enemies like i said it does not get repetitive um or but it does tend to drag on for a bit too long and you know but it's able to stay fun enough for you to um play through so yeah that's about it for the pros and cons the pros is the combat the environment the environmental graphics the variety of weapons and enemy types um replayability the pacing and the story the cons would be that the game really drags on too long for its own good some technical issues just as screen tearing um frame rate issues and some glitches and overall the action can get overwhelming at times not all the time but it can get overwhelming but overall i give this an 8 out of 10 i definitely think it's worth checking out um it's 20 dollars on playstation i got it for six dollars on a sale but it's definitely worth it it's, it's a pretty sizable game for a 20 dollar game so yeah thanks for watching